All right, so my first video kind of gave you an outline of my predicament, a little bit of exposition. Uh, my second video uh, was definitely an homage sort of to my nature and landscape photography, um, but it was definitely harder to shoot as it was just kind of my trip out here. I was on the road for the whole thing. Um, uh, any of that nature or landscape photography, I'm going to try to designate more to my Instagram ca account from here on out um, and, and try to tell more of a story rather than just kind of show you what's happening, if that makes sense. Um, I guess that being said, I'm going to talk about a few different things today. Uh, let's start with where I'm actually going. So my destination uh, was on Orcas Island in the San Juan Archipelago, where I had found work at a Theosophical Retreat Center for the month of June. I found it fitting that my first destination was within a community so based in spirituality, as it seems something I can't escape. You see, I've always struggled with the existence of a higher power, but have always still tried to live my life as virtuously as possible. The best code of ethics I strive for can be found in the Tao Te Ching, but that doesn't really discuss God. I spent this month getting back to my roots, remembering what it's like to be a human being. I made so many friends and so many memories at my time here, living in July. I was given a cabin to dwell in while I stayed, which was more than enough accommodation. Hell, it was great sleeping in a bed again. It was a great place to come back to and work on videos, but while I was there, much more important work needed doing. After hardly any physical activity for over a year, I remembered what it was to move, to physically do work and let my muscles react automatically. This was productivity away from a computer where I could look back at the end of the day and see real world progress being made, benefiting the cause of a group of people that I was happy to help. I was happy to rediscover the satisfaction of the body's natural balance between sedentary and active lifestyles the homeostasis that occurs with a mix of work and play. Boy, did I have my fun. I'll look around Until I
While some people wonder about an intelligent design that influences the world, looking up at the sky and dreaming about what that intelligence could be, others take a more practical view, wanting to look down on the ground and wonder about our role on the earth, where we find ourselves. From an atheist perspective, the world may be coincidental. Everything is by chance and everything means nothing. A wasted life matters as much as a fulfilled one because we all die in the end. As much as this makes me feel good about myself, it doesn't really make me happy. On the other hand, from a religious perspective, we were created from a perfect image, a reflection of what we should strive to be in whatever god or gods one decides to believe in. It makes me happy with a motivation and a belief system that helps me to strive to be a better person, uh, but with all the paradoxes and unanswered questions that come with religion, not to mention the dark history of every belief out there, it doesn't really make me feel good about myself. In short, Theosophists took a look at all of the world's religions, and the constant parallels within, and came to the conclusion that they all really just originated from the same secret truth that we all once knew, and that was translated and restructured through the generations of culture and conflict. I won't get into a rant about the differences between Blavatsky and Steiner, or rather, Theosophy and Anthroposophy, but what I said earlier pretty much sums it up. One group wants to look up, and the other down. A healthy mix of both, I guess, is what I learned. While some things seem too improbable for happenstance, which leads to the possibility that there may be some sort of intelligent design, we as humans will never know the answer to what that is or what it's like. And so we must focus on what that might mean about how we should live our lives and what we should find important in those lives. After all, no one makes your decisions except for you. Thank you. Take these people, for example. So... In the town of East Sound, on Orcas, there was a parade to welcome the summer solstice. While some people had an agenda to what they represented in the march, others just celebrated the earth, bringing into the celebration elements and symbolism important to the culture that they helped preserve here. There was a farmer's market after, with vendors, music, and dance and all sorts of people who enjoyed contributing to their own communities. After a good day, I would meditate not on any one topic, but rather to free my mind, make it blank, to rid my brain of inhibitions that have been plaguing me. It kind of makes me laugh now, thinking about just one of the many sayings that we tell kids who act up when they shouldn't, uh, sayings that really stick with them for, for a long time. Uh, one of these being, think before you act, implying embarrassment if they aren't doing so at all times. But I couldn't disagree with this more. Life is something that's to be lived automatically. Do something because you want to, not because it's the polite thing to do. I realized that my social anxiety was melting away quicker than it had in months, purely because I was ridding myself of the habit of having to analyze interactions and conversations on the fly and instead just reacted how I'm supposed to. For example, I mean, isn't the point of a joke just to make you laugh spontaneously without even thinking about it? Now, there is such a thing as tact, um, acting intelligently in unpleasant situations, uh, but for all my pros and cons, Indralaya accepted me for all of it with open arms. Um, I really hadn't expected so much positivity from that community. Ah, anyway, so I had this awesome little wood stove in my cabin, which was perfect for those chilly nights on the water. Being part of a community like this opened my eyes to the endless ways there are for life to be lived. In the end, it just depends on what you want out of life. Happiness is key. Whether or not you believe in anything at all, if you aren't able to appreciate life for what it is and what you can make it, 
then you'll just keep struggling. After a month, I was ready to see what the rest of the Pacific Northwest had to offer, and I was more excited than ever to meet all kinds of different people and do all kinds of different things.